Communities that typically see flooding during storms like this are obviously on high alert tonight. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski is live in Weather Tracker 2 in New Britain with more on the conditions there. Eliza. Hi, Erin. Yeah, so we are in the area of Market Street and New Britain Ave. Rain is coming down pretty hard here. I want you to take a look at what we are seeing in front of us right now. It's not helping residents who are prone to flooding. We're actually driving through a puddle right now. So we've been seeing the occasional puddles. We drove right by CCSU through the campus area, and there were, again, the occasional large puddles. So be careful of those while you are driving. And we spoke with one, one gentleman this evening who says flooding during storms like this is all too common. This is a do-it-yourself system, yeah. nothing fancy. As many people prepare for flooding tonight, so those cracks are from the water pressure from other floods? From under, yes, from other floods, from underground. And then we have some water already starting to seep in here. This isn't Frank Chase's first time wading through water. My house, unfortunately, is at the low point of all the blocks here. So I get all the water eventually, it ends up here. That's why we're the, we're the, the bullseye. During intense rainfall, Frank Chase, Roxbury Road resident, says water comes down from neighboring streets, backs up into the park across the street, and ultimately floods his basement. So when that park fills up with water, that water comes out in a jet stream about 18 inches off the ground, and that's what fills up the basement. As he works to protect his home, as many are doing, it adds up over time. Experts have some tips. If you can get out and get the extensions for your downspouts, that will help bring water away from the house, at least from the roof. The groundwater from the melting snow, there's not much you can do right now, except if you hopefully you have a sump pump, go downstairs and make sure that's operating possible. Properly. Phil Mason with Service Master by Mason fixes everything from fires to floods and mold damage. He says if you do have flooding in your basement. Right now, before it floods and you know it had an issue in the past, start moving that contents out that you uh, need to make sure it's not damaged. Now, if you do need to dry your basement and had some flooding, don't forget that humidifier. It's key in this whole situation because mold will come if you don't dry your home out properly. I'm going to send it back to you guys in the station for now, live on the roads in New Britain. Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Eliza, thank you very much. Now